happening guys I'm going on another trip again this time I'm doing something I've never done before I'm going without taking any bait with me any plastics nothing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna harvest my bait right out of the surf which is gonna be sand crabs and I'm gonna go after some corbinas that I've been seeing in the surf they lurking in the shallows very skinny water so I'm gonna go after the corbinas I've never done that before I've never caught one before they're super elusive super evasive fish and I got a bunch of tips and pointers when I posted a comment when I posted a question on my Facebook page that I'm a member of and the Facebook page is not mine it's uh, I think Brian Cotto or Cato is the he is the admin and I'm gonna show you guys so I posted a question and as you can see I got 47 answers and my question was I see Corbina swimming in a foot of water and I've tried throwing squid and gulp sandworms and no bites I've noticed they're always in pairs is this a mating behavior or are they just a super picky fish because I've been throwing everything I had at them and I never got one guys I was wondering what the deal was so I went on the page's name is California Coast Surf Fishing I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put the name right here uh, so that's the name if you want to join California Coast Surf Fishing and it's a really good page if you have any questions if you need to identify a fish if you need to buy a certain tackle that you can't find at your local tackle shop just drop a comment in the page they'll help you out they're super helpful helpful and they're very quick everybody that is on this page is a legitimate fisherman so stay tuned guys this is something new I hope you enjoy all right guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this net and we're gonna go down there I'm not gonna go down Eric's gonna go down there and he's gonna get some sand crabs it looks like there might be some down there we're not sure we're gonna give it a try so all you need is just a net like that where you can filter out the dirt and collect the even the small sand crabs all right stay tuned kick up the dirt and then let the sand flow in just just in the water right in the water yeah put the yeah like that but put yeah exactly yeah let the wave do the work did you get anything a bunch of them huh <laughs> show it to the camera oh no get it <laughs> show it to the camera here here right here that's all you need guys a bunch of sand crabs one scoop <laughs> all right guys so we got our limit of sand crabs we're gonna go ahead and give this a try I think we have a lot more than 50 so I'm gonna dump about half of that out so remember 50 is the limit let's go give this a try hey guys so here's the setup I'm using for my leader a four pound Berkeley vanish that's a fluorocarbon I use that for trout fishing for the hook I'm using a mosquito hook size 4 okay and for my main line which goes on the spool cast king all this will be in the description and there's gonna be links directly to Amazon Maybe it's 
the line. Yeah, fish on guys. Fish on baby, yeah. Might be a halibut. Yeah? Yeah. Guys, we're using sand crabs. And mosquito hook. Oh, that's a big fish, man. I see it from here. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Where is hey, it? Do me a favor, get the net. Get the net. Something right here. Oh, that's a big corbino. Guys, we got the corbino. The setup works. Guys, sand crab works for corbinas. Thank you for all you guys that commented on my uh, on my request on um, California coast surf fishing. I appreciate it, guys. Your hints, your tips, everything worked. We got sand crabs and we got a big old corbina, guys. Look at the size of this guy. Oh my God. Look at the size of this corbina, guys. Look, it got chopped off. I don't know if that's recent or not. I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. Hold the cam for me. Lock on. 18 inch corbina. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Oh, nice job. Yeah, thank you. Let's go ahead and measure this. Bring it a little bit closer. Guys, this is about 18 inches. My first Corbina. So, all right guys, I got the Corbina. So I'm gonna switch things up now. I'm gonna be using this hammer, two inch or three inch little swimming baits those are motor oil i'll put the link in the description these guys always get me at least the bass so stay tuned we'll see what happens fish on guys on the hammer uh swim bait it doesn't feel like it's ginormous or anything but there it is. <laughs> it's surfing in. Oh, it's a small halibut. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's a, it's a tiny halibut. <laughs> yeah, let me get that. Yeah, Guys, get look at this. A tiny little halibut. On the, on the, go, on the hammer uh, swimming bait. 
motor oil cutter. Let's go ahead and release this little baby. There you go. He released himself, guys. <laughs> 